Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three semicircles inscribed in a rectangle A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, these uh, semicircles uh, are tangent to each other. The length of this uh, rectangle is uh, 84 units, whereas uh, these uh, vertical distances are uh, 16 and 14 respectively. And now we are going to calculate the area of this rectangle A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And since we are interested in finding the area of this given rectangle, and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula, area equals to length times width and in our case the length of this rectangle ABCD is 84 units however the width of this rectangle is unknown so therefore we are going to calculate the width of this rectangle ABCD first and here's our next step uh, let's suppose that these are the radii of uh, all these three semicircles. And now let's focus on this uh, blue semicircle. And now let's recall this circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore, in our case, uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees, since uh, CD is our tangent line and this is uh, our radius so therefore both of these lines are going to be parallel to each other since both of them are making a 90 degree angle and now let's make an observation look at this uh, equation the width uh, of this rectangle uh, ABCD is going to be equal to the radius uh, of this uh, blue semicircle and now let's assume the radius of this uh, green semicircle is A units, the radius of this blue semicircle is B, and the radius of this uh, yellow semicircle is C units. Then the diameter of this uh, green semicircle is going to be 2 times A, isn't it? Likewise, the diameter for this uh, blue semicircle is going to be 2 times B. And finally, the diameter of this uh, yellow semicircle is going to be 2 times C. So, therefore, we can see that this whole distance uh, AB is going to be equal to the sum of 2A plus 2B plus 2C, which is equal to 84. So, therefore, I can uh, write down 2A plus uh, 2 times B plus uh, 2 times uh, C equals to 84. And now we can see that this uh, equation is divisible by 2 across the board. Let me go ahead and divide each and every term by 2. So therefore, we can get... Uh, let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, vertical distance. Uh, a plus 16, this is going to be equal to this uh, radius uh, of this uh, blue semicircle B. So therefore, I can write uh, A plus uh, 16 equals to B. And now let's go ahead and subtract 16 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, A turns out to be B minus 16. And finally, we can see that this vertical distance uh, C plus uh, 14 is going to be equal to this uh, radius uh, B of this uh, blue semicircle. So therefore, I can write uh, C plus uh, 14 equals to B. And now let's go ahead and subtract 14 from both sides. This is gone. So our C value turns out to be B minus uh, 14. And now we can see our A turns out to be equal to B minus 16 and C turns out to be B minus 14. We are going to plug it in in this equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is B minus 16. I'm going to leave this B as it is. And then plus C, I'm going to replace it by B minus 
14 equals to 42. And now let's go ahead and combine these like terms. B plus B plus B is going to give us 3 times B minus 16 minus 14 is going to give us 30 equals to 42. Now let's add 30 on both sides. This is gone. So our 3 times B value turns out to be 72. So B finally turns out to be 24 units. So thus the radius of this blue semicircle turns out to be 24 units. And now let's recall this equation once again. The width of the rectangle ABCD equals to the radius of this blue semicircle. And we figured out the radius equals to 24 units. So I'm going to replace this one by 24 units. So therefore the width of this rectangle ABCD turns out to be 24 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this rectangle ABCD now. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula once again. Area equals to length times width. And in our case the length of this rectangle ABCD is 84 and the width is 24. So therefore the area of this rectangle ABCD is going to be our length is 84 times width is 24 and if we multiply everything that is going to give us 2016. So thus the area of this rectangle ABCD turns out to be 2016 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.